Hey everyone, I'm Chris Norman, also known as Nose. I'm one of the developers of the GURPS Game Aid for Foundry, and this is my introduction to GURPS, the generic universal role-playing system. GURPS was first published in 1986, with the fourth edition published in 2004. But don't think of this as an old game. Steve Jackson Games releases new content for GURPS every year. You probably found this video because you heard about GURPS, but didn't know where to start. Or maybe you were intrigued because you heard that you could play other genres, superhero, space, Old West, James Bond, and of course fantasy, whatever you want. But you also heard some bad things too, namely that it's too complex. I'm going to give you an overview of the gaming system and show how GURPS might work for you. This is just my personal advice on how to get into GURPS, and it's advice that I wish I had gotten when I'd first started out. The pros. The generic in GURPS means that there's one generic mechanism that you use throughout the game system, known as the success role. Once you've learned that, you've learned how to play GURPS. Hmm, I guess this will be a short video. Of course, you may be skeptical. You've probably heard bad things about GURPS. But GURPS is a modular system. Even the authors have said that GURPS is a toolkit, meaning it's not so much a game by itself, but instead it's a massively modular kit from which the GM can build their system to their liking. And that's good because we can start out small and build the system bigger as we understand more. And to prove this point, I give you GURPS Ultralight. Steve Jackson Games published a one page, literally one page document on how to play GURPS Ultralight. Okay, it's two pages, but the first page just describes how to fold the second page into a neat little pamphlet. But you're playing GURPS. So how can a game that can be represented on a single sheet of paper get the reputation of being so complex and so crunchy? Well, the devil's in the details. But because of the generic mechanism, GURPS is actually really easy to teach. Which you may not believe because of all the rumors you've heard, but I assure you it's true. My friend, the well-known Mook, runs GURPS games at conventions, and he gives, at most, a 10-minute instruction into the gaming system, and then off they go. GURPS is really easy to teach to players, which makes it especially good for one-shots. Another big pro, of course, is universal. With GURPS, you can play any genre you want. I had one of my best times playing in a campaign called Spell Slinger. I played a drunken, old, lecherous, washed-up gunfighter that reluctantly had to become a cleric. It was a blast shooting guns and casting spells, no pun intended, is that a pun? And I don't know how many game systems can do that. With GURPS, it's literally built into the name, Universal. Cons. Of course, nothing is free. So how do we get all that? Well, GURPS requires some work from the GM at first. The reason Mook is able to start adventures within just a few minutes is that he's done two things. He's gone through the tool chest and picked out the rules that he wants to use. Most people say toolkit, but there are so many good things inside of GURPS that I think of it as a chest and not just a little kit. You're not required to use every rule in the book, and that's actually where a lot of the bad reputation comes from. New players, who may not have any outside guidance, look at the basic set, all 576 pages, and try to include all the rules, which can be a big mistake. The second issue is related to characters. In GURPS, you don't roll characters, you purchase them. This is another place where some of the bad reputation has come. There's math involved, and it can take a while. Here's a really nice video by Tori from the Campbell County Public Library showing you how to play GURPS and create a pen and paper GURPS character. The video is an hour long. So the con is the fact that it actually takes some time to create characters in GURPS. Counterpoint, creating characters in GURPS is actually its own little mini game, in my humble opinion, and one that I like a lot. The issue comes with the math. Who wants to keep track of all that stuff? Well, I give you the GURPS character sheet. A cross-platform, free program that runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and does all the math for you. And this program has been actively developed for the last 21 years and has an avid following. In the last 10 years, I've created all my characters using GCS. It's a great tool to play what-if scenarios when building your character. What if he had one more point of strength, or if he had a slightly better sword skill, or he learned this extra skill? What would the cost be? GCS does all this for you. So getting back to the cons, if you don't want to design your own character, and you just rather roll a few dice and pick what it means and go, then GURPS may not be for you. But have you ever played another role-playing game and thought, as you were creating your character, 
wow, I'd love to be able to add this thing, or I just want to change this thing, or you thought you'd like to combine these two features. If so, GURPS is your system. Because you're purchasing your character, you have total control with your GM's permission, of course. But if you want to make a barbarian archer, or a shy, reluctant James Bond, or a drunken, lecherous, gunslinging cleric, then you can. Of course, this means that you'll have to spend some effort to create your character. Fortunately, GCS makes this pretty easy. And there's a great community online and examples of characters everywhere. But it's time that you must spend up front. Did you notice I didn't mention complexity as one of the cons? Because it's not. GURPS is not complex. I think it got that reputation from the fact that people would get the basic set and try to play with all the rules and just get swamped. And in my videos, I'm going to try to show you how to start out small, incredibly small, and grow from there. So that's GURPS in a nutshell. It's easy to learn and teach. You can use it to play any genre you want, and you don't have to be a game designer to do it. It does take some upfront effort from the GM. The GM has to pick what rules they want to play with, and then you have to buy your characters. But if that sounds interesting to you, then follow me, my friend, and I shall be your GURPS guide.